Hello and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel here today guys for a Barca news roundup coming your way and we are going to be discussing two big midfielders, two of the biggest midfield names in the world of football, Frankie de Jong on the one side and Bernardo Silva on the other and there is a big, big discussion that we have surrounding the two of them. We're also going to be talking as well about yet more words from Martin Braithwaite while on international duty. There is lots to cover today, so let's get into it. But I do want to start, first of all, with a big congratulations to Pedri, because his stunning goal against Sevilla has been officially crowned as La Liga's best goal of the last season. And it was a sensational goal, wasn't it? Sitting down two Sevilla players in the process at a time in the game where we needed that winning goal. All the hope, all the expectation on his shoulders. And as he did so often last season, he delivered. What a stunning finish it was. And he was a player that we saw at the end of the season. Without him, we're not the same team. He carried us at times. And I cannot wait to see him back out there again next season under Xavi. But I also want to talk about Martin Braithwaite, guys. I didn't want to bring this to you because obviously we've spoken recently about certain players who don't want to leave or want to refuse to leave this summer who want to point at their contract and say, I am simply going nowhere. And when it comes to Braithwaite... I'm not all that optimistic about a summer move, I've got to say, because once again on international duty, he's been speaking, and he said yet again, I've got a two-year contract. He said, I'm having a good time at the club. He said, I haven't played much, but we've got a good coach, and I know that I'll probably get an opportunity if I'm there and if I work hard. And there are so many things there that are wrong with that statement. Now, I can understand he has a contract. I've said before, it is not the players' fault they were given these huge deals by Bartomeu. But just admit that you're there for that contract. Please don't come here and say, oh, I'll get an opportunity. I think I'll be able to play. You won't. We have to make it crystal clear to these players. And Xavi has. Braithwaite has played 24 minutes of football since he came in in November. 24 minutes you won't play. How much more clear do we have to make it that quite clearly you're not in the coach's plans? And that is the problem right now for Barca this summer when it comes to departures. Because as we've said before, if you want to raise cash, if you want to go out and make a big signing and you want to actually raise some cash by selling on some of the players that you do have, many of them we get nothing for. They've got no value right now in the market. And honestly, we'd happily give them away, which is exactly what leads us on and leads us down the path now of one of the very few players who actually holds any value. One of the very few within our team who you could get good money for. It's Frankie de Jong. Because just yesterday, as we spoke about on the channel, he was quite clear in his views. He wanted to stay at the club. He felt comfortable here and it was his dream to succeed at Barca. But big news again this morning. Coming from Fabrizio Romano. Very reliable, as we know. And he has confirmed that talks between Manchester United and Barcelona have now open for Frankie de Jong. The initial talks now have officially started between the two parties and Barca have set Frankie's price tag, Fabrizio says, at 85 million euros this summer. That is the fee that they will be willing to sell for and Man United now are set to make their opening offer. Now, I do have to say that at this stage, going to make that absolutely clear, is that one thing that hasn't changed is Frankie's stance. Because he still wants to stay, as we've said, and if he even was to leave, he would like it to be a club who are playing Champions League football, which in the next season, Man United are not. And I think it's interesting what United are doing here. Because right now, they don't have an agreement with De Jong. Eric Ten Hag is calling him a lot. He's speaking to him, trying to convince him. But as of yet... They haven't convinced De Jong. And I think what United may just be doing here is actually doing things backwards. Because usually you'd get the agreement with the player, then you'd go and negotiate the fee. When you know they want to come, then you go and agree with the player's club to get the deal done. But I think what they're doing right now is actually going to Barca first. Because I think United feel as though if they can agree that fee, if they stump up 85 million euros in Barca, say, you know what, that's great. We will take that money. I think United then know 
there'll be pressure on De Jong. There would then be a lot more pressure on him to leave the club, and it may bring Frankie closer to Manchester United. But what I also want to make clear on this, guys, is that Chaffee still wants De Jong in his team. And he's very clear about that ahead of the summer. He wants, of course, to keep his best players. He wants to have the best options available to him. And he would only think about selling De Jong if a world-class midfielder were to replace him. That is very, very clear from Xavi. I'm not talking here about Carlos Soler, about a replacement like that. Xavi would not accept that. That is very, very clear. He would only accept De Jong's departure if somebody with serious, serious quality stepped in to his place. Now, could that player be Bernardo Silva? Because this is a player who we've all become very aware of over the past few seasons as Barca fans. We've been linked with him several times, especially last summer when Bernardo Silva actively wanted to leave Man City. He made it very, very clear that he wanted to be closer to his family. Now, last summer, financially, we couldn't get near the deal. We were not in the position to do it. But could things be different this time around? Well, the rumours... They are starting. Gerard Romero just yesterday came out and said that again, Bernardo still wants to leave Man City. He is looking to make a move this summer and he would love to join Barca. He would be very open to coming here under Xavi, who is said to be a huge, huge fan of his. And it's of course no secret as well that Bernardo growing up was indeed a Barcelona fan. And if he was to make that move, he would then also be closer to his family. And I do just want to say, for me, Bernardo Silva, he is an unbelievably exciting player. I often see a lot of Barca fans talking about him, you know, thinking if there was one player out there who I'd like to see, you know, realistically come to the club, if there was one player that could play in this team, I'd love to see Bernardo Silva. And I feel exactly the same way, watching him play in so many different areas of the field. He's so effective. What he's done under Pep Guardiola, and what you could see him doing in a Barcelona shirt, it is exciting. Make no mistake about that. But we do have to be realistic. Because even though Bernardo may want to leave Man City, and often, like I've said before, they don't stand in players' way. They will look to help him if he wants to move. But they are in a good position. They have him under contract until 2025. He's coming off the back of, again, another brilliant season. He's at a great age right now, entering the prime years of his career. And for that reason, they'd value him very, very highly. And for Barca to even think about this deal, yeah, you'd need a big sale. Which is when the question comes. And at this point, this is purely hypothetical. But today, I am asking you, would you accept the sale of Frankie de Jong this summer if it meant that Barca went out and signed Bernardo Silva in his place? That's the question. You can go ahead right now, get involved in the poll that I've got going on there on Twitter. And I think it's a very, very interesting one that we may not be close to finding out right now. That might not be the routes that we're seeing. But I just think given the rumours on both sides, it is definitely something to bear in mind. Or would you go and say... Well, I wouldn't actually sign Bernardo. If we were going to sell De Jong, I would actually rather use that money in another area of the field, on another position. Is that the route that you would go down? Or are you going to say, no, I am not selling De Jong. Not for him, not for him, not under any circumstances. De Jong should not be for sale. I want to know your thoughts and I want to know all of your opinions, guys, in the comments down below. Because this is a topic that continues to go on and continues to take intriguing turns. So please, guys, let me know all of that down below. And, of course, your thoughts as well on those words from Martin Braithwaite and Pedri's Goal of the Season Award. I will see you soon. Well, later on, actually, over on More Talk FCB, I will be reviewing the game between Argentina and Italy in the Cup of Champions. I will see you later for that. And I thank you indeed, guys, for all of your support here. It means a lot. And I will see you soon. But until next time, as always, Vishka, El Barca. Uh -huh.